This video will cover the topic, solving a quadratic equation needing simplification. When we first learn how to solve quadratics, they will usually already be in a form that is ready to factor and solve. Here, we will work on a problem that needs to be simplified before we can start factoring it. We have the problem. 2w squared minus 15w plus 26 equals the quantity of w minus 6 squared. A quadratic needs to be set equal to zero in order to be solved. Is that correct? Yes, we need to set this equal to zero. So we are going to have to subtract everything off of one side. Let's subtract w minus 6 squared from both sides. We now have 2w squared minus 15w plus 26 minus the quantity of w minus 6 squared equals zero. We'll have to simplify this by expanding w minus 6 squared and then combining everything together. Use the FOIL method to expand w minus 6 times w minus 6 and then combine everything. I can do FOIL. I multiply the first terms to result in w squared and then I multiply the outer terms to result in negative 6w. And then I multiply the inner terms to result in negative 6w. And then I multiply the last terms for a result of 36. Precisely. So now we have 2w squared minus 15w plus 26 minus the quantity of w squared minus 6w minus 6w plus 36, all equal to 0, replacing w minus 6 squared with our expanded polynomial. We will then distribute the negative sign in front of the polynomial into the whole quantity for a result of 2w squared minus 15w plus 26 minus w squared plus 6w plus 6w minus 36 equals 0. Then, after combining all the like terms, our final simplified quadratic equation is w squared minus 3w minus 10 equals 0. Now we have to factor this and solve for w. To do so, we find two factors of negative 10 that also add together to equal negative 3. Here is a list of factors of negative 10. We will find the sum of each one until we find a sum of negative 3. The sum of negative 1 and 10 is 9, so that does not work. The sum of 1 and negative 10 is negative 9, so that also doesn't work. The sum of negative 2 and 5 is 3, so that doesn't work. And the sum of 2 and negative 5 is negative 3. So it appears that 2 and negative 5 are the correct factors to choose. We now add each of these to a w in parentheses, like this. w plus 2 times w minus 5 equals 0. If we want to check that these factors are correct, we could multiply them together and see that they equal w squared minus 3w minus 10. To solve for w, we split each factor into an equation equal to 0. Can you solve each equation? Okay, so if I have w plus 2 equals 0, then w equals negative 2. And if I have w minus 5 equals 0, then w is equal to 5. So w equals negative 2 and 5 are the solutions to this quadratic equation. Perfect! In summary, if I see a quadratic equation where there are numbers on both sides, then I need to subtract everything off of one side to set the whole thing equal to 0. Then after simplifying this, I can then solve the quadratic equation using whatever method works the best. Great understanding.